Sawamitra, DCS at Ophthalmology at Medjenong Labs, Bangalore. Uh, today we will know a little about inherited retinal degenerative diseases, or IRD as they are known. IRD are monogenic diseases affecting the retina of the eye. The retina is a complex structure, seven layered structure and studies have revealed that about 65 to 85 percent of the human coding proteins are expressed in the retina. Of the seven layers in the retina, photoreceptor layer consists of the rods and cones which are required for the capture of the uh, image that we eventually see. The rods are required for vision under dim light conditions, peripheral vision, while the cones are required for vision under bright light conditions, reading and color perception. Now, in case of IRD, there is de de degeneration of these rods and cones. So the individual begins to have uh, issues with the night vision, there is night blindness, then there is it progresses to difficulty in the peripheral vision and can eventually progress to loss of or difficulty in the central vision. Now the severity, the degree and the rate at which the disease progress varies from individual to individual. It can vary even among the different individuals in the same family. So the individuals, different individuals can present with mild visual impairment or moderate to severe visual impairment or sometimes it can even go to legal blindness. Again, there is a spectrum of IRD that are known. Uh, it can present as early as from birth or what is called as congenital or it can present in the mid or late childhood, adolescence or in the adults as well. Among the different IRDs that are known, RP or retinitis pigmentosa is one of the most common. Uh, though the worldwide prevalence of RP is about 1 in 3000 or 4000, in India studies have uh, shown that the prevalence can be as low as 1 in 750 or 1 in 930 because of the high prevalence of consanguinity and endogamous marriage. Over 200 and odd genes have been identified to cause IRD. Comprehensive testings are available in the market in our lab too, where we can identify the causative variant in the gene in a given individual. The genetic testing helps to understand the pattern of inheritance. That means the risk for the next generation or for the SIPs are known. It helps to know the prognosis of the disease, that is how much, the, what will be the degree of uh, severity of the disease in a given individual, how much it will progress. These are some of the important things that the uh, genetic testing would uh, be beneficial to the patient and the family. Further, extensive research is happening in the field of gene therapy. Though currently only for one gene called RP65, uh, gene therapy is available and it is uh, expensive too. However, when you have the test and the patient and the family is future ready for any possible gene therapies that can happen in the future. Apart from the IRD, which uh, affects only the eye, there are what is known as systemic uh, syndromic retinal diseases, where other organ systems like uh, kidney, ears, skeletal muscles, skeletal, skeletal system and um, central nervous system are involved. Here again comprehensive genetic testing is available where the identification of the variant uh, and the gene would uh, help us to know what are the other systemic um, conditions that the patient can be affected with that will help in uh, better disease management. So if you or any of your family members or friends are affected with any of these symptoms of night blindness or uh, difficulty in the peripheral vision or central vision, please do avail the genetic testing and uh, that will help you and the family uh, for any preventive uh, measures that are possible and also keep you ready 
for the future treatments that will be available in the market. Thank you.